Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the first in two parts of checking out the latest version of the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update with the uh, build 16.215 that we received yesterday June 8th and uh, so this part is install process plus the good and the bad things what's been fixed and the problems that it has and then we'll have the full um, the second video will be about all the new features so this one if you're waiting for the one for features check out the other video uh, that I'm posting part two this one is let's start with the beginning of course this was released yesterday around 6 p.m. Eastern time uh, Donna Sarkar in what is a unusual uh, announcement did uh, a early announcement saying hey there's gonna be a build today 3 p.m. Pacific and so we already knew uh, earlier that there was something they had managed to by the way have build 16203 released last week but then all hell broke loose with the wrong build being sent out so uh, that actually had a problem there so okay here goes um, the install once again you know on this build man the install that that time when it actually goes to um, you know the, the the install process setting up things before it actually does the install is so long it's really really <clears throat> amazingly long and uh, I, uh, you know what it, it took something like an hour and a half two hours before it was actually ready to install itself which is completely crazy and I don't, I don't understand why it's just so so long now it's fun interesting because not everybody's reporting these long times some of you have been telling me oh mine is really fast and it's just amazing but a lot of us have these real long install times that are just crazy but once this the install starts it starts you know um, one of the things I've seen a lot it seems a lot of people are reporting a green screen of death at the install so you know if you're if you haven't installed it yet um, and wonder uh, it seems that uh, quite a few people are mentioning a green screen of death then it reverts back to the old uh, 16199 uh, build. So if it happens to you, uh, of course, be warned, it's a possibility. Um, as for the install itself, when it, it does install, it took, took maybe 50, I don't know, 50 minutes. It wasn't that long in the process of installing itself. It was really the beginning of the you know initialization that is long. Installed in, of course, on my two machines, which which is a uh, this one is a, a pro version, the one you see here, and there's the home version that is on my other computer, and it installed flawlessly, so uh, no issues there, and um, I've had not had any crashes. Been using this since yesterday evening, really, really no problems at all for my uh, side of things lots of new stuff here so look at part two if you want to see the stuff now what actually was fixed here there were quite a few improvements and fixes long list so uh <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> language packs via settings times language uh available available again um the issue that was causing updating to the latest build to get stuck at 12 percent should be fixed so if you um have that type of problem. Fixed issues where you weren't able to uh, type in your password in universal Windows platform apps like Netflix, Twitter, Facebook. They fixed an issue with Outlook 2016 hanging due to an issue with the spam filter. Fixed an issue with previous flight where Microsoft Edge would crash when enabling or disabling extensions. Uh, removed the power option to update and shut down for now as it wasn't working. Uh, you may re see recovery drive tool show up under recently added on a start after updating to this build so I don't know if we yep I got here recovery drive uh, if it, it, it is here um, so um, it says here that we have made a change that makes the tool previously only accessible via control panel to now be available in the Windows administrative tools in start Fixed issue where unexpected wireless display media viewer app uh, at a blank icon. Uh, made improvements to facial recognition with the Windows Hello. Fixed an issue resulting in Windows Hello face falling, uh, failing to work. 
fixed issue with some games like Civilization 3, uh, uh, um, 6, and Galactic... Um, yeah, that's it, Civilization 6, Galactic Civilization 3, and um, Expeditions Viking failing to launch. Fixed issues where um, inbox Universal Windows platform app icons were overscaled in the Cortana search. They um, heard the feedback, also adjusted the text and the prompt to initiate cross device notifications. Um, we fixed the issue, causing some people to have an error 0x8000FFFF while trying to launch an isolated edge session in Windows Defender Application Guard. So there's a lot of issues that they want you to know. So on some PCs with enterprise configurations, you may not be able to open PDFs in Edge. Microsoft Edge may load web pages at the wrong scale factor, highly zoomed in on some devices uh, with high density displays. Some PDFs may open in a cropped view, zoomed in, uh, in Edge also. After upgrading inbox apps that are the same version on the download level, OS uh, will disappear from start. Uh, they made a fix to address the feedback that PDFs weren't opening in Edge, but this resolved the issue for most insiders. There's still something happening and still investigation is being done. New Windows Mixed Reality developers need to install build 16193 uh, or RS2 RTM plugin, the Windows Mixed Reality headset and set up Mixed Reality, then upgrade if uh, you want to have it work. Wi-Fi will get turned off on certain devices like the Surface Pro 1 and 2 and some USB devices won't work due to a driver issue. So uh, to get Wi-Fi working again you have to roll back to the previous build. So there's a possibility you have no Wi-Fi here. You might have to roll back if that happens. There's really no fix. They tell you roll back to the previous build. Uh, some universal Windows app uh, such as Twitter will crash on launch. So uh, let's check it out here. I've got it installed. We'll see what it looks like. So if I look at the uh, Twitter app here, does it crash, does it not crash? It's supposed to crash on launch, apparently. And uh, well, seems to, seems to work here. So I don't know. Maybe not everybody has that problem, um, of course. And mini surveys we call SIUFs for uh, from Feedback Hub will not work on this build. So if you have feedback to send, um, as you normally would for this build, please send it through the Feedback Hub directly. And um, so these are the issues that are known. And of course, the Wi-Fi one is the biggest one that might actually prevent you from going here. Uh, personally, as I'm using this since yesterday evening, no issues really. No blue screens or green screens or anything. Uh, worked fine, so um, I have had no issues, but be warned some issues are possible and remember um, I, I see an abnormal high number of people mentioning they have a green screen uninstall and it rolls back to 16199 So this is part one uh, the problems the issues in the install part two coming up which is the features and there's a lot of them in here so I uh, hope you enjoy our quick look of this build in two parts. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.